Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on Titans Season 1. So Titans has been one of the most highly anticipated news shows for this season, or this year, might I say, if not the most talked about following Comic-Con this year. Now, we did have it confirmed that the show would be beginning to air on the DC streaming service, otherwise known as DC Universe, on October 12th, which is one month away from now. So if you haven't signed up for that yet, you might want to start looking into it if you're looking forward to shows like Titans, as well as like Young Justice, Doom Patrol, and many more shows in the works. But seeing that we are a month away from the launch of Titans, it seems fitting that over the past 12 hours or so, that they would decide to actually drop some promo images for not only episode 1, but also episode 2 of season 1. And that's what we will be going over in today's video. Obviously, minor spoilers, I guess, but they are like promo images, so obviously the studio doesn't mind people seeing these, so it's hard to go on about them being spoilers, but yeah. So yeah, as you would expect, we will start off with all that stuff from episode one. And we start off with a shot of Raven outside of her house, and you can tell that it is her house due to the mailbox, which of course says Roth, as in Rachel Roth, as in Raven. So it does look like she is just running away from home here, which we will follow on as we dive deeper into these uh, primer images. Next up, we see Dick Grayson in the police department, where we of course know he will be a detective. And even though Titans has received criticism before an episode has even aired, which is sort of odd, one thing the majority, if not all, seem to agree on is that Brenton Thwaites looks like he will do a great job in the role of Dick Grayson, aka Robin, and then eventually Nightwing later on in the series. But here we get a couple of shots of Starfire who has been involved in a car crash. Now, if she was driving in Australia, she would be getting out of the driver's side here, but this is set in America, so of course she is getting out of the passenger's side here. But I guess the big question around this is whether she has caused the crash or if she's just unlucky to be involved. It's sort of hard to tell. But we do also get a shot of her hiding behind a tree. Once again, hard to tell who she is hiding from, but we will just have to wait and see, obviously. I know people are already probably typing in the comments about her hair. Yeah, we all know it's not good. It's not great. No one can really say it's good hair. The rest of her though, I am liking now. Even if this outfit was her outfit for the majority of the season, I really wouldn't mind it as this season is the origin stories for Starfire, Raven and Beast Boy. So it would be a bit silly if they had all of their proper, you know, crime fighting Titan suits in episode one of the show. You know, their everyday wear can be like nods to what their final suits could be, but it'd be weird if like Beast Boy and, and like Starfire and Raven were just rocking up in what they would wear like they do in the comics. So just be patient and you never know, she might pay the hairdresser a visit and sort out that hairdo and you could be, yay, we get the proper Starfire or something like that eventually. But here is the iconic scene that we will see done on screen again, which is of course the death of Robin's parents. You can see that this is a younger Dick Grayson, this isn't Brenton Thwaites in the role. Even though going by the trailer we got around Comic-Con time, it looks like there will be visions and like nightmares of the present day Dick in this scenario of seeing his parents die and just being in the situation of being in that, well, scenario. One interesting thing to wonder about this scene is whether we will see Bruce Wayne come and pick uh, Dick Grayson up. That's interesting, maybe keep that in the, you know, in the back of your head. The next shot we have is of Raven in a community center or a homeless shelter of some type lining up to get a meal. Now, as I said before, we had that shot of her looking to be like running away from home, which does make me curious as to how long we will spend with just like Raven out on her own. Like, are we going to spend like half the episode doing it or will it just be a quick few scenes to lead up to an interaction between her and another member of the Titans? That is for us to wait and find out, obviously, but it does just seem like that will be the case as I really can't see this being like all that interesting, like seeing Raven go from place to place, then being in a homeless shelter. It just seems pretty boring. So you think they just cut through this pretty quickly. But speaking of other members of the Titans, we do get some shots of Dick suited up as Robin in that scene that we got in the trailer from Comic-Con, which of course was the time and place where fuck Batman was said and broke the internet. As I said, many people have criticisms about the show without even watching any of it, but one thing you can't deny, Robin looks pretty badass. The next bunch of images are from that inevitable scene that Raven being on her own would, you know, been building up to, and that is of course her running into Dick Grayson like we saw in the trailer. Now we do see Raven here like all upset and crying, but in the background you can see two cops like knocked out, or possibly even dead on the ground, with Dick running towards her. Now did Raven do that to the cops, or was someone else here possibly targeting Raven and Dick, you know, got here just in the nick of time to rescue her? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised at all if maybe Raven did like lose control and do this to the cops, but also not remember doing it as well. But obviously she's like calmed down, just well normal once Dick gets here. 
We do also get a shot of Raven and Dick with these like classic car, which I'm sure was once a resident of the Wayne Manor garage. Uh, but you wouldn't expect uh, Robin to be driving around in a Toyota Corolla, do you? And the last two images from episode one are of Starfire again. The first being her fighting off someone with like a knife. Uh, but the second is much more interesting, where it seems to be the same dude in the background that Starfire was fighting with uh, for that knife. But he seems to be, uh, you know, a bit toasty, a bit burnt up. So it looks like Starfire has used her powers here and roasted this dude. But he is somehow still standing up. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. But ignoring all of that, she is holding a photo of Raven. So maybe this guy has Raven as one of his targets, or he knows someone that's targeting her. And that is how Starfire gets involved with her and Dick, you know, by going to warn them. Like, that sounds plausible to me. But now let's move on to the second episode's primary images. But I will just be pointing out, like, the newest stuff that wasn't really focused on in the episode one images. And the first photo is that of Amy Roerbach, who will be played by Lindsay Gort. So she is Dick Grayson's new partner on the police force. So that will be a relationship that we will see blossom throughout the season. Now, Amy has worked with Dick in the comics in Bloodhaven when Dick was uh, like a rookie there. An interesting thing with her is that she found out that he was Nightwing, but she kept that to herself. She kept that a secret. So that could be something that happens on the new show as well, whether it's towards the end of the season that Amy figures it out or, you know, maybe Dick you know, is just caught in a bad situation and uh, Amy finds out that he is Robin or Nightwing, whatever Dick is at that point. But I'm guessing we will see something like that play out. Or maybe just Amy has her suspicions throughout this season. Now we see this woman here with a few syringes. Which is then followed by her standing in front of what would presumably be her son and daughter. Now this right here is the nuclear family which are from the comics. Now in the comics they are androids built to replicate the different stages and effects of a nuclear bomb. Whether that is the case on the show will have to be you know, found out obviously. But you would think they would just make them like a psycho family or something, wanting to contaminate people or something along those lines. But we do see them in a doorway and like a corridor here of what you would think would be Hawk and Dove's apartment building, who we will meet in a second. But the members on screen here are Dad, Mum, Biff and Sis. There is also another younger son called Brat and even a dog called, uh, well, Dog. But that might have been, you know, seen as a bit too much for the show. Like, do we really need that many characters? So maybe keeping it to like... Yeah, you know, your four-member family, I think, is enough. But I did reference Hawk and Dove just then, and here they are. We see that Dick has brought Raven to their house. Now, it is unclear whether this is for safety or whether Dick has some other business that involves both Hawk and Dove. But it does appear that while Dick is visiting, that he will partake in some ass whooping and help Hawk and Dove recover some of that. I really do like the look of both Hawk and Dove's suit is extremely comic accurate, which is great to see. But yeah, overall, I think these promo images are pretty good. I'll, you know, the, the episode two ones are a bit simple. I think they just show a couple of scenes put together while the episode one promo images are, you know, a bit more for the whole episode, if you want to call it. The one important thing to note is no Beast Boy in any of these promo images. Now, that could be because, you know, the whole CGI with the character, maybe they didn't want to do any of that. Because if you look at Starfire, it's just her as you normally would be. There's no any sort of CGI effect there to uh, fix some of Starfire up. And maybe they didn't want to do that with Beast Boy either. So that's maybe why there isn't any uh, promo images of the character. So if you're wondering where Beast Boy is, I'm just going to say it's down to CGI and stuff like that. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it shows support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions on the stuff we went over in this video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later guys. Goodbye.